it's October what fifth today? Yeah. We were at the entrance of Dynamite Cave. The members of Cascade Grotto. And Richard and I are about to make our descent. Alright, Jim's piling up out of here. I wonder I if he's the last one from the Cascade. My, uh, to him. my SOS kit. And I can't believe the crew left the rope back in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> the no rope. I want one of them. All right, I got Bill on tape again. It's not every time I go out anymore, I'm always catching him on Bill's tape. Bill's always in the cave first, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Richard and I are just headed in. Yeah. Your chest box. Oh, is this what you like? Oh, it's uh, aluminum, right? Maybe building a chest box like one builds What I've done is I've rigged it so that I can hang my lighting system up. Yeah, it's pretty deluxe. Oh, uh-huh. You guys want to turn around? Yeah. Get a picture. Picture of everybody. Right oh. All right, all the other grottos have left, and Richard and I are headed in to rig that pit. Everybody else forgot their ropes at home. So here we go. All right, we are down to the what was gate. It's since been pretty much vandalized and destroyed. Onward. Darn. I we blew that. You're taping with the paws on, doesn't work very well. We're down here to the natural arch bridge. Spans from wall to wall here. Oh, neat. Awesome oh, ceiling. This natural arch. Pretty thin right there. Let's see where it's creed onto the wall here. You're standing underneath it in there. Oh, it is. standing up on the top of the 10-foot lava fall. This group of explorers looks like they've got the 40-foot pick rigged and they've already have people online. So we will go down there and join Prague, Seth. All right, Richard's sitting up there on the 10-foot lava fall. Comes down. I'm going to put some light on that so we can get a little better perspective. Uh, kind of hard to see. It's like somebody's giant mouth, like a tongue sticking out. Well, yeah, it flows over there and it's like a waterfall, but it's frozen lava. Frozen in time. Alright, here we are at the 40 footer. We already got somebody on rope. Sounds like they're nervous. This is a nervous spot, I can guarantee you. I've been there before. Okay, that's looking straight up at Richard. He's going to wrap off here, come down the 40 foot pit. Walking over the edge. Richard's first rappel, he's probably real nervous. Actually, this feels great. Hmm. Hey, he's got a lot of rope with him. Yeah, we got another rope for the 55 foot pit. Are you guys gonna go down the 55? Yeah, probably. You swing That's out good. pretty quick because you don't want to smash your fingers. Alright, he's oh, at the bell chamber area. Right, right about here. Where the rock is kind of 
Phew, and there he goes, he drops. And he's... Awesome. Richard. You guys got a lot of room. <laughs> what are you going to say, offline now? Offline. Out! Off the leg! You don't say that until you take the rope off you, then you just might jerk it back up. Oh, I see. If you're on a rock climbing situation, they might throw you off the cliff. All right. Richard makes it down. That's a good picture, Ed. All right. Nothing. This word drops off. Okay, he's going to hit the overhang here. Slide on about 20 feet down to the floor. All right. Down. <laughs> I would walk right. across it with the rope if, there was, if I knew I was going to travel on further, but I was told not All to right. go further. There's still a board going across the 55-foot pit over to the big chalk stone and the big room beyond. Definitely a risky situation here for you. Does it go any farther? Oh, yeah, it goes down into the split level area. You have to go up and over this little thing? Because that's the only way I can uh, see. Pretty risky. All right, here you can see how it just kind of yeah. drops over the edge into that blackness it? there. Oh, it's way back down. Down that part? Yeah. Oh, Lutra. Well, that's pretty deep. That is deep. <laughs> You want a 10 foot yeah. All right, this is the 55 foot pit. You can see the shaky board system that's across it. Fell in there, it'd be to your death more than likely. <laughs> All right, roll across. Okay, I got to cut a rope here. All right, we are coming out and we are at the 15 foot ledge here. Yeah, hold on just a second and look up this way to turn your light inside. Morning over this <laughs> clock rock. Got a low battery indicator already. <laughs> this is what he looked like before he fell. Hey, this is this is part of the process. <laughs> the video is there certain about her picture. She got stopped. <laughs> yeah. 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 I've been poised at the lip of a 15 foot waterfall and Dick goes, hold it a second. <laughs> Did you see that Dillet? National Geographic had on here walk here a couple All right, of all right, that's a long ways away, probably a couple hundred feet. I'm going to take a picture here, too. This is a good picture. That is our exit or the entrance. You guys got your pictures? Not quite. Up. You're going to walk up? No. Well, I'm trying to right here. Jason's in that little room above you. Is that right? All right. Upper level, lower level down here, lower level.